Empathy is being able to relate to the emotions as well as the thoughts and perspectives of other people. And when you're designing technology, it's really important because a lot of times you're designing technology for people. So I would argue that cell phones is an interesting example where we use them a lot, but they weren't really designed with the way that we interact with one another in mind. For example, when you're with a cell phone, you know, you're looking at your cell phone and you're typing into it and it's giving you things back and it brings you here instead of looking at the people who are around you. Um, we want to avoid that. Um, when we build our robots, a lot of times we build robots with a use case. When my advisor first started in her field of social robotics, she had a project in Japan where they were having this older adult population that was getting huge and then there weren't as many people who were able to take care of them. And so the goal of the project was to build robots that could help support the older adults and help them be more independent. There was a problem. The problem was that these robots would literally lift people out of bed or help them get down the stairs, but it wasn't giving them any social connection and it wasn't supporting them in that way. And so even though the robots were physically able to help, they forgot that we are empathetic human, like we are empathetic beings and that we care a lot about our social relations. So my advisor began designing robots that could appeal to that as well, because we don't just want something to lift us out of the bed. We want something that um, feels human and that makes us feel human too. Um, and so she started designing robots that were kind of like babies, because at the time um, that was the easiest way to sort of um, play with our social interactions, something that goes goo goo and gaga and reacts to our emotions. If we seem excited, then the robot would get excited. And if we seemed sad or scolding, then the robot would kind of shrink back and say, oh no. Um, but it was incredible to watch how people interacted with the robot because they would 100% engage on an emotional level with this machine, like adults. Knowing that it's machine, even roboticists, they're like, I know exactly how you work, but you're really cute and you're really pulling on the heartstrings. Um, and it's incredible that technology can have that impact. And so when we think about robotics, um, empathy plays a huge role. The robots that we design um, right now in my lab are designed to be empathetic characters. When you're building technology, a lot of times you have to solve problems for other people. And sometimes they may be people who you've never met, never interacted with, have no idea about. Um, a lot of times people build technology for us and they've never met or <laughs> interacted with us. That's one reason why it's really important that a lot of people are involved in creating the technology because if it's only a small group of people building for a huge population, then they're going to miss things. And, you know, we really want problems to be solved in a way that are meaningful to the people who are going to be using them. So uh, people who already have empathy. Um, people who are very good at empathizing with others who they've never met. I think that's one of the most important skills that an engineer can have.